The fortune is in the follow-up. Are you going to be around to see that fortune? My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets episode, triple fives, 555. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, fresh off a really long airport trip yesterday in Minneapolis. Yes, I said really long. On Tuesday, I was supposed to fly out at nine or so and get home at noon or so. And that got drug on until 11.30 p.m. But here we are, bright and early, Wednesday, March 27th. And we're going to talk about an email that I got from a client who's ecstatic over some of the work our team is doing with him. But I also want to caution the level of excitement. Because what happens with this is it tends to die down a little and we tend to drop the ball. Now, this client, is built different, I will say. He started as a visit we did for free for the America's Best Restaurants Roadshow four years ago. You see, early on, when we launched the ABR Roadshow, we didn't know what we were doing, to be quite honest with you. I had a vision, but I also wasn't comfortable charging somebody for something that I wasn't completely sure how we were going to do it, how it was going to lay out, how we were going to market it. So for six months and about 350 restaurants, we filmed for free. Well, he was one of them. Part of the perk of us filming was you got a trial of some of our marketing services. And that has led this gentleman down a path of working with us for a couple years. And he has been an amazing client. So I don't think that he will drop the ball on this at all. So this isn't meant for you if you listen to this. This is meant for everybody else. So the title of this this podcast is The Fortune is in the Follow-Up. And the reason I said that, this is a client that just started working with our team to get catering leads. And I had heard the grapevine that it was going really well, that his catering sales were, were doing great the past month. He's gotten interest in five to six, or he's been able to book five to six catering clients a week the past month. He's gotten over 500 leads. There's a lot of opportunity out there, my friends, especially in catering for restaurants, especially in marketing for catering for your restaurants. But here is where the rubber meets the road. This is where it typically stops. And I have seen this personally 50 plus times the past 10 years. We help companies market their brand to a very specific audience They get leads and they think that a lame ass email from the company, from the nurture is going to close these deals over the next 12 months. Businesses spend money with businesses they have better and deeper relationships with. So for this particular client, we are sitting at the end of March. He's got 500 or so businesses that have raised their hands. I actually logged into the dashboard to look at it, to understand the depth of these people. There was like 40 of them that are over 50 employees that cater every couple weeks. Very valuable people, but only very valuable if you're not a one and done. When I sold radio advertising back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I didn't sell advertising to anybody the first week, the first month, hell, the first six months most of the time. Whenever somebody pulled the trigger on marketing really quick, it Typically didn't work out. It was too easy to sell them, and they were really quick to go away. My clients at my radio business came from people that I built a relationship with, you might say kind of stalked in a nice way, became friends with, and actually had a vested interest in their business, and they knew that. That is the people that became my long-term clients. The same is going to happen with your catering leads for your restaurant. If you run an advertisement and you get people to give you their information and then you throw them into an email database and you send them a lame ass email every couple weeks about why they should spend money with you, it's not going to happen. Ashley on my team, who's been here for 13 years, I know her from her mom. I know her mom because her mom 
was a force to be reckoned with in the catering world. I'll never forget walking in one time to Quaker Steak and Lube in Florence, and Bob Jacoby says, man, I love Peggy. I said, why? He's like, because every day I open the restaurant, I got 15 hundo in the bank. She's always got a catering deal happening. Well, she had those catering deals happening because she was a professional salesperson. Because every day, every week, every month, every year, over 10 plus years, probably 20, she was building relationships with companies and then fulfilling a need they had to cater. They were the ones that thought of her many times because they know, like, and trusted her. So for this client and for everybody else out there, yes, you can find businesses. We found 500 businesses in a month in a small town in Ohio to give this restaurant owner their name, their phone number, their email, their title, their company, how often they cater, and how many people work in their company. Now it's up to you to take those and find the fortune because the fortune is in the follow-up. If you fail to build long-term relationships with them, You'll be that little guy with the pickaxe in the tunnel that turns around before he hits the diamonds. And that's what happens way too many times in B2B sales. See you. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, Text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners. And you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.